ties. Onion sets, a real handy way to grow onions, really, isn't it? It's far easier, yeah, than modular trays. They take ages. The most common mistake is people just plant all any sets they can buy because they don't want to waste them. But you yeah. have to waste. So I'm just going to show you which ones are the perfect onion set. Okay. <laughs> and there, there is one. See that? Onion set, that's the perfect onion set. Nice and round shoulder here. Mm -hmm. Lovely and firm. Yeah. That's the perfect one you could get. This one is more pointed. Can you see that? It hasn't got the round shoulder. It has okay, got... Okay, it's very tapered like that. So that's more likely to go to seed. Never ever plant any that have that are soft or have a shoot coming out. Mm -hmm. So they, they've, even when they're like that, you might think you're, you're, you're ahead of yourself. Yeah. But no, they're, they're bad. Forget it. Forget it. Really by selecting the best quality sets, you get the best crop. Yeah. So we'll just make a pile of good ones here. And if you just pick out the best really, just to show you how you can grow really good onions. Size doesn't matter as much. Even the, the bigger ones are probably less good than those ones. Medium-sized ones are better. Okay, Klaus, we're out in the garden now. We've chosen our onions, so let, let's, let's see how yeah. to plant them. Yeah, I mean, the, the easiest things ever. Mm. You just pop it in halfway into the ground, just like that, the just onions. Like that. 10 centimeters apart from each other. There's one thing to watch out for though, the crows. Like birds, yeah. The birds. Yeah. Yeah. What, what can we do about that? You would have to put a netting over it. Okay, put to a little protect brush them over it. For yeah. three, uh, three weeks or so. Just until they root. Just until they root. At that stage, yeah. they'll be fine. 10 per meter, so that, that'll mean 30 onions in one meter. It couldn't be anything easier than that, couldn't it? Now the spacing. It's interesting. If you look, there's some white spacing. That means that those onions grow a lot bigger. They'll grow a bit bigger, yeah. yeah. So if you want to impress your neighbors, just increase the spacing to 15 centimeters, okay. like you've done there. But if you, you if you prefer small onions like that, you space them maybe seven centimeters yeah. apart, a lot closer. So spacing determines the, the final size, size of, the of, okay. of the vegetable. I never pointed out that you should plant them the proper way, that that's the top and that's the bottom, but it seems a bit obvious, doesn't it? There is a top and there is a bottom. Okay, I'm kind of peering at you through this uh, lovely, <laughs> <laughs> lovely dense foliage. But we got some onions here. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm thrilled with them. Yeah. Anything we need to be looking out for, um, pest-wise, disease-wise? Well, disease would be downy mildew, and maybe that little bit here okay. could be downy mildew. That's on the tips of of the leaves. And we get that in damp conditions. Oh. Damp, cool autumns or, or yeah. summers, but they're so well advanced, you know, it, it couldn't do them any harm anymore. Mm. If it would be early, it, it'll be a problem. If the soil would stay wet now, I would be worried that the roots, yeah. the bulbs will rot. We so hopefully it. not. So if you stimulate your soil in the morning, the soil has all day long to breathe out and you yeah. open up the compacted layers. Okay. And that dries it out substantially. Mm. You can use it for the opposite as well. If your soil is dry, yeah. you do that late in the evening, just and before it take in and it take in moisture. Right, Klaus, we're back at the onions now. Uh, they've all fallen over there. They look fantastic and look like they're ready to pull up, mm. I presume, are ready to go. Yeah, well, they look messy, because, but that's normal. They're just dying back mm. now, and, and um, they're lovely. I'm thrilled, so we thrilled just, we with just them. Pull them. Just, pull, just them. pull them up. Yeah, so once nearly th uh, three quarters of all the tops have fallen over, yeah. that's when you know they're ready to okay. pull. Rub off the soil, take maybe the loose skin flaking wow, around. Look at that so it, it'll dry nicely and then because it's a nice day we just leave them in a line the never put them in a pile i see this one here i was just about to pull uh, yeah one. it's no good anymore that's a bolted onion that's gone no and what so happens that's, that'll just be a hard it'll be a hard taste yeah well. without the scales so we keep them outside now until rain is forecast again it shouldn't be long <laughs> And then I moved them inside, right. so we'll plait them and hang them in the kitchen over the winter time. It's very satisfying, isn't it, to, it to know that you have your year supply of onions. You hold it together, yep. the string, and you open it up. Got it. Like that. Bring it up. And you grab And then the you middle. grab that. And then you have a loop. Okay, like so that. we have a little lasso then for the first onion. Yeah. We'll, put, we'll have a nice face here, and then the, all the tails come around the, the back. The back yeah. yeah, so I'll pass them to you. If you go around here, you put it through here, yeah. and then wind it around, and through the middle again, and down. Um, Lovely. And the next, you know, you place it nicely there. Very nice. Keep all the tails together there. And then you can just pull them as you need them. Do I just keep going up to the top of the string? Or? Oh, it might be a bit too heavy, Andrew. Lift it already. 
yeah. I think we do another yeah. three or so. You, okay. I'd rather have more. Yeah. Uh, more, more strings than too many on one. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, wow, look at these lovely golden onions. And when we put yeah. our sets into hanging up here, that's really exciting, isn't yeah. it? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. 